Good day everyone, Garage King here, and it is a special day. Tesla has released all the service information for their cars, all models. So whether you're doing just some simple trim work, some maintenance, or maybe you're pulling your, I don't know, powertrain apart and doing the deep dive, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this one. No clickbait here, very, very easy to sign up. Here is the website. It is www.service.tesla.com slash service hyphen subscription dot that is it so nice and easy once you do that you're going to get an email i find it was kind of odd that i had a i guess a 365 days tesla does put a limit but you can see there it was zero now i show my phone here it does work on the phone and you can see here if we look once again it does say zero there's my account but you know what we'll go into the phone later because it's just not the easiest uh, to show on youtube so here's a desktop so this is what it looks like on your actual computer and you can scroll down it says zero there and you can sign up now okay now it is interesting before you sign up let's just look up there and if you look at the diagnostic services for all the models there still is an annual fee so i don't know if this is a mistake i don't think so i think just for the basic service manuals you can get them so let's sign up so anyway i'll just type in my email right here just like this uh, we're going to click the next button and then we're going to click in our password. You guys pick whatever password you want. I'm just going to sign in. I already signed up earlier, so I know it does work. So now we'll just give it a second and we should be logged in. And there you can see there it is. And there, once again, really weird. You get a one year expiry date. I don't know if Tesla's going to charge us after this initial year or maybe just the computer system does a general one year, you know, every year. And there you can see our Model S, our Model 3, our Model X, our Model Y and our Roadster. We have all of the manuals. So which one should I pick just to sort of show you guys what it's like? So let's pick the Y because I did just recently buy a Model Y. So here's the page you'll get. There's a nice picture of a Model Y on it. You can scroll down and you can uh, click in basically any of the little subsections. So here we have the subsection of the manual and let's go into, let's say, let's just scroll down here, exterior seats, instrument panel, instrument trim, what should we do? Battery, electrical, thermal management, infotainment. You can see I can scroll down here, more wheels and tires. There's absolutely everything. So let's click something that everyone's kind of a little bit interested in, the trim. Now, why did I pick the trim? It's because we all know how well Tesla trim does fit. Now you can see here, the car is uh, red. It's sort of highlighted what you're picking. So that makes it really easy to use. And I must say, as a, a licensed mechanic, this is one of the easiest manuals that I have gone through. I found it actually really, really easy uh, to deep dive and to go in any different section. And there you can see, it actually has color pictures how to take the stuff apart. So just so, so easy. So maybe let's check on one that, you know, a lot of people might want to do on their own. So brakes. So let's get into brakes and then we'll get into the subsection there. So we're just going to click and it'll take us into the brake subsection. And there you can see highlighted in red what we're looking at. And now if we scroll down, we're gonna have to, um, I guess, be a little more specific. Uh, left caliper, right caliper, what we wanna do. So here you go, we can uh, click, take a look at one of the calipers, and it'll tell you exactly how to take it off, how to service it. And once again, it's gonna provide some nice color pictures, and it even gives torque, spe uh, torque specifications. It gives you everything, so it's very, very easy to use. I, I just highly recommend everyone that has a Tesla download this. I mean, even if you don't wanna do your brakes yourself or you know really get into doing servicing, it's just good you know, even to find out how your trim fits, just basic little things. And the other thing it's got in the end of the service manual is it's got all the service intervals, brake fluids, stuff like that, when they should be changed, uh, your coolant for your batteries. Say for example, we wanna flush the brake system. Well, first we gotta remove the underhood apron, so it's gonna tell us how to do that. And like I mentioned before, the part that we were looking at or the part that we want to fix or take apart or learn about is highlighted in red. So this manual actually makes it very, very easy. It's a very, very easy manual to use. Now, what if you're not interested in fixing your car and you really don't care and you're not mechanically inclined? Well, you know what? It's still an excellent resource because it will let you know service intervals, stuff like that, so you don't get ripped off and you can just be more aware about your car. There's just a lot in it. And if you're bored and you don't know what to do, or maybe you just have some extra time on your hands, I mean, it just never hurts to read this because 
hey, knowledge is power and it's only gonna help you out with your car. But as promised, what I'm going to do is show you how it looks on the phone. So this is the desktop and I highly recommend the desktop because the phone, it's a little bit smaller. Here you can see how it looks on my phone. So it is a little harder to read. I'm actually zooming in uh, just for the sake of YouTube so you can see how it looks on YouTube, but it is smaller on the phone. But you can see there's a Torx uh, specifications. Everything is there, so very, very easy to use. Anyway, that's it. I really don't want to make this video longer than it has to be because I hate wasting people's times making long videos. That's it. Garage King over and out.